everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. We're creating a fall basket using some newer Pretty Pink Posh dies called the Fall Basket dies. Anyway, these dies are filled with fall foliage, pumpkins, apples. I love that it comes with all these, these different fall elements. So we've seen lots of apples and strawberries. So I'm excited to share this one because we're going to be creating a full fall basket with pumpkin squash and some foliage. Now to start, I'm going to start out with a brown piece of wood grain cardstock. And this is going to be what we create our baskets with. So I am using some distress oxides and I'm going to swipe the ink across the light brown wood grain panel. Now there's plenty of texture there, so what I'm doing is just adding some more color and depth. And in case you missed it, I used the colors Pumice Stone and Walnut Stain Distress Oxide inks. And now that I'm done swiping that color onto that wood grain cardstock, I'm gonna use the basket dies to go ahead and die cut out my baskets. Now there is more color there than before, but we're gonna go ahead and add a bit more color to this just to add a little bit of shading on the sides. So I've got the walnut stain, the same one that I swiped with, and we're gonna go ahead and ink blend the sides and make the, I don't, I don't know what these bands are called, the enforcement barrel bands. Um, we're gonna die, uh, sorry, ink blend that and make it a little bit darker and then go around the other pieces as well to add some depth and shading to the sides of the, those pieces. And because I want these bands to be darker and to stand out more than anything else, I'm going to go ahead and also use Ground Espresso ink to ink blend those bands and the background piece as well. So lots of ink blending and lots of adding of color, but it really makes this barrel 3D and stand out a lot more. So I'm just piecing together my barrel now, and then we'll go ahead and Copic color everything else. I went ahead and die cut ahead of time using some lighter card stocks. So I'm gonna speed through a lot of it, but it's simple Copic coloring. And be sure to check out the blog if you want a, a full list of all the Copic colors I used and card stock colors I used. Everything will be linked for your convenience. Okay, I'm starting my coloring here with some pumpkins that I've die cut in a few different colored cardstocks, and I'm using different Copic markers to color them to add some depth in between those curvatures on the pumpkins, the creases. And you'll notice that it, it's not perfect. Coloring with Copic markers on cardstock is a little different because you don't see it right away um, until the ink dries. So I'm not gonna be too perfect with it. And then I'll go ahead and add some green stems on all of them. And because because fall colors are generally lots of browns, I'm gonna add pops of color wherever I can. So I'm using blues and greens and reds. So we're gonna be coloring some of these little stems here um, with different colors and I've die cut the same stem in different colors. Just trying to change things up as I go to create lots of interest for my fall basket. For these acorns, I die cut them in Nina Desert Storm cardstock, and then I used a brown Copic marker just to color the top one, and then a lighter brown Copic marker to add some shading at the bottom of the acorns. Now on the squash, I'm gonna color with some green and also some brown. So I just wanted two different squashes in there, and then we'll go ahead and add the stems to them as well. I'm gonna color the stems because I die cut them with ivory cardstock and coloring them with a green Copic marker is so much easier than taking another step to die cut those stems out of green cardstock. Okay, so now working on my mushrooms, I just added some brown to those stems to add some color, and then I'll color the mushroom tops with some red. You might not be able to see it, but there are stitching lines on the mushroom tops to differentiate the red from the cream colored spots on the mushrooms. I'll go ahead and piece those together and finish that up, and then we'll work on the smaller leaves. Again, I've die cut them in different colors to add some more interest, and then I'll color them with reds and greens. And that'll finish up the coloring. Sorry that's speedy, but it was just a lot of coloring and you don't want to hear me jabbering about coloring. Now we're gonna work on the background. I wanted something really colorful, but also muted at the same time. So we're using more Distress Oxide inks. This is Barn Door with Dried Marigold. And it's not gonna be perfect because we're gonna be covering the majority of this panel up with the basket and all of the fall items that we colored. So again, this is not gonna be perfect. And when I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and trim the sides to make it a little bit cleaner. I always do this because I do love a white border all around my card, but at the same time, I don't like the ink that tends to be more intense around the edges of a piece of cardstock when I'm ink blending a panel. 
All right, so now we can move on to the fun part, which is assembling our cart and playing with the layout. So what I'm doing here is adding the basket with the pumpkins first so that I can know where to adhere the larger pieces and that way I can work my foliage around all of these pieces. I'm adhering the pumpkins down first with some liquid adhesive. This will give me a visual of where my fall basket will be at its highest and lowest and then we can build our foliage from there. I'm going to attach my basket with liquid adhesive also because there's lots of layers of cardstock and there's going to be plenty of dimension so I don't need to worry about adding more. To add the foliage, I am just tucking and adding the stems and trimming them if I have to, to tuck them in place. And when I'm doing so, I tend to go with the same colors at first. That way I can make sure that there's a nice range of color all across the basket. For me, creating this fall basket is a lot like arranging a bouquet or flowers in a vase. You wanna work in groups of three, and spread them out and then add the next like items and just make sure that your barrel or basket or floor arrangement is balanced in color as well as in height and shape. So that's what I did for the basket and I know I have lots of little pieces going on here but I was not going to use all of it. I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So it's always easier to color a little bit of extra and have everything you need and I do jam pack this with most of the images. I think I threw away maybe two or three pieces that I didn't use but I just had to use these little mushrooms and add a few little differentiation in shapes and colors all across this panel. Now that our fall basket is put together, I can go ahead and finish my card here with a sentiment. This is the new Thanks script die from Pretty Pink Posh as well. And I've just die cut it once with matte gold cardstock. So I'll apply that right in this open space on the barrel. And then what I'm gonna do is finish my card with some pretty new pearls from Pretty Pink Posh as well. I love their pearls. They come in rainbow colors and different sizes. And it's so easy to embellish your cards with. There are some pretty fall colors with this release. So I'm using the pistachio and the sunset orange pearls here. And I'm adding just a few of each color for some additional interest and some sparkle. All right, that finishes my card for today. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, everything will be linked below for your convenience if you're interested in any of the products that I used. I hope you all have a great day. Bye everyone. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.